Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're coming across an error message on your Windows computer that says that the program can't start because dxgi.dll is missing from your computer. Try reinstalling the program to fix this problem. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward issue here, guys, on how to resolve. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So first thing I recommend doing would be to launch a web browser. We're just going to open up Google Chrome for today's tutorial and navigate over to google.com. And you want to search for DirectX Download. Go ahead and search for that. One of the best results should be a Microsoft domain here, DirectX and User Runtime Web Installer. Go ahead and open that up. And then you want to select the orange download button here to begin the download. And once it's downloaded to your system, go ahead and open up the setup file to run it. And select yes if you receive a user account control prompt. You're going to get a welcome to setup for DirectX prompt here. You want to accept the agreement and then select next. I'm going to uncheck the option to install the Bing bar. And then I'm going to select next again. And select next. Once it's done, select Finish, and then proceed to restart your computer. And there you go, guys. So hopefully that was able to resolve your issue. If you're still having a problem, something else we can attempt here as well. If you open up the search menu, type in CMD, best match, you'll come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right-click on it and select Run as Administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, select Yes. And now I will have a couple commands in the description of my video, guys. Go ahead and copy the first one. And then go up the top bar of the command prompt window here. Right-click on it, select Edit, and then paste it in. Hit enter to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient. Okay, so once that one is done running, go ahead and copy and paste the second command I'm going to have in the description of the video here, guys. So go ahead and paste that one in.
Okay, so once that's done, go ahead and close out of here and restart your computer. And there you go, guys. So hopefully that was able to resolve your issue. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.